The crazy thing about leaks is that sometimes they don't just hint at what's coming. They drop the entire playbook. And that's exactly what just happened with Samsung's biggest update of the year. We're talking about the One UI 8 stable rollout, and the leak schedule doesn't just reveal dates, it shows exactly when your Galaxy phone, tablet, or even your smartwatch could finally get its hands on Android 16 with all the new features. Some devices are way earlier than expected, while others are surprisingly pushed back, and the order Samsung chose might shock a lot of people. Welcome back, viewers. James here? If you're into tech breakdowns that actually keep things fun and easy to follow, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share it with a friend who's waiting for this update too. Now, let's jump into this because the rollout doesn't start where most of us thought it would. The Galaxy S25 series is first in line, but here's the twist the regular models get One UI 8 on September 18th, while the S25 Edge doesn't make the cut until September 25th. That's almost a week's delay for a phone that just launched months ago. Why would Samsung stagger it like that? My guess, it skipped beta testing, so Samsung wants to be extra careful before rolling it out to everyone. The S24 lineup, including the Fan Edition, also lands on September 25th, which means last year's flagships don't have to wait long at all. But if you're rocking the S23 series, you might want to circle October 7th. That's your big day. And here's the kicker foldable fans, you're in that same wave too. The Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 get the update alongside the S23, while older foldables like the Fold 5 and Flip 5 are pushed back to October 13th. So if you're holding on to last year's foldable, you're definitely not first in line. But Samsung didn't stop with the flagships. Mid-rangers like the Galaxy A56 and A36 actually joined the rollout early, sliding into that September 25th slot. That's surprisingly fast for phones that don't usually get priority treatment. Meanwhile, budget models like the A35 and A34 don't catch their wave until October 30th, which feels like an eternity when you know the features are already live on premium devices. Tablets have their own story too. The Tab SS10 lineup kicks things off on October 1st, but the FE models lag behind until October 9th, and the affordable Tab A9, that one's waiting all the way until November 5th. And it doesn't stop at phones and tablets, Samsung's bringing wearables into the mix as well. The Galaxy Watch 7, Watch 6 Classic, Watch 6, and the new Watch FE all get one UI 8 on October 1st. But if you've still got a Watch 5 Pro or even a Watch 4, your update won't land until early November. What makes this rollout fascinating isn't just the dates, it's the strategy. Samsung clearly wants the newest and flashiest devices updated first to show off one UI 8 in the best possible light. Then, like ripples in water, the update spreads out to older flagships, then mid-rangers, then tablets, and finally wearables. It's a careful, layered rollout that balances excitement with stability. But here's the part that most people overlook these leaks are regional. What's listed for one market might shift slightly in another. That means while September 18th is locked in for the S25 series in one region, your exact timing could drift by a few days depending on where you live. Still, this leak gives us the clearest roadmap yet, and for Galaxy users, it's basically a countdown clock to one UI 8. So if your device made the list, the wait is almost over. If it didn't, chances are Samsung will push updates in later waves, especially for M series and rugged devices like the X-Cover lineup, which the leak shows running as late as November 10th. That's a long rollout window, but it covers almost every corner of Samsung's ecosystem. Now, I've got to ask you, which device are you waiting to see get one UI 8 first, and do you think Samsung's order makes sense? Or should they flip it around and prioritize differently? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because I think a lot of people are going to have opinions about this one. That's it for this breakdown. If you found this video helpful and fun, hit that like button, share it with someone who's counting the days to their update, and subscribe so you don't miss the next big leak or surprise Samsung has in store. Until then, stay curious, stay tech savvy, and I'll catch you in the next one.